wanna go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing Hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave, and I'm going to be discussing something that I'm going to be trying out here. And the reason I'm even doing this video is because of the fact that if you have any experience with this, put it in the comments below. Let me know. This is going to be about hooks. Actually, I just got them in the mail today. It's going to be about these true turn hooks. I've seen these hooks for years and years and years and never really gave them any mind because they made really small little wire hooks, bass hooks, rubber worm hooks, things like that. Now this is the same company as like VMC, so made in France. That's uh, VMC, um, Rapala, Normark, all that whole, you know, conglomerate of companies. Blakemore. Um, so you got true turn hooks. Now, what is the big deal with true turn hooks? Well, the original cam action hook. Hmm, what is that cam action, you say? Well, if you're unfamiliar with them, look. That's what a true turn hook has. It's got this crook in it. And the whole idea is supposedly, and I have no clue, that's the reason I'm asking you guys, and I will be testing these out and seeing. But what happens is supposedly the fish bites down the hook and you pull back and supposedly the hook twists. Cam action. Cam action. Yeah, cam action. Well, we'll see. You know, are these hooks just a, I don't know, what would you call it, a gimmick? Or do they actually work? But the reason I'm trying them is, of course, you know, these catfish guys are, all this whole thing about catfishing is just getting totally out of out of the uh, you know world I think but they're making these now catfish hook and what they are is they're nothing more than the VMC perma steels and this is about the biggest I could find I got them on eBay and I got a really good deal I thought I got uh, three 25 packs for $12.95 free shipping I thought that was a pretty damn good deal, to tell you the truth. Can't go to a store and get uh, 75 hooks for $12.95, no tax or anything. No tax, no shipping, no nothing. So this is, uh, as it says up here, a four-odd hook. And I'm used to using a four-odd hook. Because let me, let me tell you what I've been using. Okay, this right here is about all I use for the big bull redfish. I don't like huge hooks. If you ever saw the, the video I did when I was comparing these guys with these giant hooks on a quarter ounce jig head versus the quarter ounce jig heads I use that have a little small hook. You know, the old, the old saying is, is, you know, would you rather, you know, just shoot at a fish with one bullet or would you rather throw a cast net. I'd rather throw a cast net myself instead of just try to shoot a fish with a bullet. Okay? And that is the theory behind not using huge hooks. All right? And this is nothing more than a four-aught eagle claw turned in eye bait holder with these stupid little barbs on the back that don't really do me a hill of beans of good, really. And it's bronze. And I don't even know if it's laser sharp or not, but, you know, eagle claws come in eagle claw, and then they come in laser sharp eagle claw. They're pretty sticky, 
but they're really just a you know one time good deal disposable hook and the reason I always use the turned in eye as you may have seen and I'll always say this in my other videos the reason being is I snell these and that makes this the most ultimately strong connection to any hook is a snell so I've been using that right there for 25 pound bull redfish you know what I mean but that's not the only hook I use. I use these too. These are Matsuo. These things are deadly sharp, folks. Matsuo sickle bend. They got this crazy bend in them. Bait holder. It's got the two little barbs on the back here. Turned in eye because this I will also snell, and the line feeds straight through there just so perfectly and wraps around the shank, as the snell always does. And I can tell you honestly, go go buy owners. Go buy owners. It's fine and dandy. Oh, they're so sharp. Oh, they're this. Gamagatsus, they're so sharp. Well, guess what? These dudes here are so wicked, it's unbelievable. And they're a quarter of the price. You got to remember, I'm in the business of fishing. So I always think about economics. All right. So this would be a little, just a shrimp hook, uh, bottom fish and black drum, croakers, yellow mouth trout, whatever. Any small fish, sheep's head, you know, just any little bottom fish and hook, I use these. Believe it or not though, we've caught 25 and 35 pound bull redfish on that. And I don't quote me on the sizes here. I think this might be like a one aught or a two aught. The bronze eagle claws or a four aught hook. And now the true turns. These are four aught hooks. I didn't really see any bigger than four aught hooks on on eBay. So I'm gonna give these a shot. Now of course I'll have to be tying them on. These don't have a turned in eye for snelling. And I don't think you're supposed to snell up on here and maybe lose the cam action, cam action <laughs> of the uh, of the hook. I think you're just supposed to tie it on. So that'll be a real difference for me because I'm a snelling son of a gun. I can snell a hook in about 2.3 seconds. All right. So the reason I got these is, you know, you may be saying to yourself, well, Dave, why aren't you using circle hooks for those bull redfish? I don't really like circle hooks that much. I used to be a huge fan of circle hooks. And then guess what? I'm getting bull red swallowing circle hooks. I'm getting um, drum, any bottom fish that we're fishing for, swallowing a circle hook. And I mean, you want to talk about a B-I-T-C-H of trying to get a circle hook out of the throat of a redfish? Good night. Hey, at least this has got a handle on it and you can kind of, you know, pull it out. That's what these have too. That's a little bit of a handle, you know. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of how long this is, but it's okay because if we're putting a piece of cut bait on here, that's no problem. But I'm going to try these out, and I'm going to get back with you guys. I'm going to let you know if these are really just a gimmick, or am I noticing a different kind of hook set, or where's the hook placement in the fish, or you know, are we getting more hookups on these? And that's another reason why I sort of went with these. I know from doing you know sheet metal work years and years ago that when you put a bend in something, you know a piece of sheet metal and you put a cross bend in it, um, breaks in a, in a sheet of sheet metal kind of thing. That's of course how you make it strong. The more it has a little bends in it, the stronger it gets. And I was thinking this may actually be a stronger hook than if this was just a straight hook of the same wire diameter. Huh, I don't know. I'm just thinking. 
yeah, these are new, basically kind of new, because they're the Permasteel VMC finish. And of course, they call them catfish. Why don't they call them catch everything? That's what I don't understand. Catfish. I mean, you know, these, I don't know. I, I'm just, I get so many people asking me about, hey, I catch blue catfish up here in Tennessee. I don't know anything about catfish, folks. Just because I use ugly sticks and that's what, you know, I guess cat fishermen like, all of a sudden I'm supposed to be a kitty cat expert or something. Um, but I'm using these in big salt water, catch a big giant redfish, okay, in deep swift current, okay, that takes six and eight ounces to hit the bottom sometimes in 20 foot of water, okay, and it ain't no sissy fishing. Hang on to your hat. These big bull reds are going to rip you one, one hell of a uh, drag screaming rod bend in action, okay? So... It's a totally different thing than that catfish wallowing around out there, just throwing his weight around. So, who knows what else we'll catch on these when it's all said and done. Might be catching giant sharks on these. Who the hell knows? But, as I always said, the reason I don't like using a huge... I, hey, man, I was into 7 aught circle hooks, 8 aught circle hooks for catching big reds. And believe it or not, yeah, it worked, but then they swallowed those too. But all of a sudden, when you go to that giant hook, okay, you're leaving out a bunch of other fish that you might be able to catch. I mean, if we're just fishing shrimp out on the bottom somewhere or something like that, and yeah, this will catch a bull red, but it'll catch a whiting. It'll catch a croaker. I mean, that's the reason I don't use monster hooks overall. I'm in wanting to catch everything and by the way while we're out there i'm hoping this can bring in a bull red and i'm sure it will that's the reason why i use these these bronze number or four aught eagle claws they catch it all sheep's head drum black giant black sea bass whiting croakers i mean it catches it everything but then all of a sudden you take the same hook you put a big old chunk of pogey on there or something boom you're into catching bull reds. Same thing with these. We've been fishing just shrimp on these, catching croakers, having a ball. All of a sudden, somebody hooks into a big old giant bull redfish at the, at the jetties, at the, at the inlet. So cast a cast net out. Don't just shoot with a bullet. That's, that's my whole entire theory um, about fish catching. Why? Because I'm in the fish catching business. I want my people to catch fish, just not sit there and have their bait stolen. We get that enough. There you go. I just thought I'd do a little video and rant a little bit, maybe. I don't know. But there you go, folks. We're going to use the true turns and see how they work. And if you have any experience with this, put it in the comments below and let me know. I'm always interested in hearing about if there's something I'm missing. And I don't know. Am I missing anything? Probably not. But hey, it was worth a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up and, don't, and share it. I'll see you in the next video.